We're getting really close to the property. It's going to be on the left. We're headed west. Uh, west on the gravel road. We just went through a bunch of uh, conservation land and national forest. Uh, very nearby the property. It's a large property. You're likely to have really good luck uh, hunting on the property. But if you want to do some additional hunting or exploring or whatnot, the national forest and the conservation land is really cool. Okay. So the map is showing that the property is on the left here. On the south side of the road. It has a ton of road frontage. I'm just going to pull up to a random spot <laughs> and I'll hop out and we'll have a look at it. A cloudy day out here in Shannon County. This looks like as good a spot as any. So it looks like, according to the topo map, um, whoops. Okay, so land on the right. And of course, land on the left. As I was saying, it, it looks like, according to the topo map, um, it's fairly level here by the county road. And then it, uh, It starts to drop down as you move toward the center and then appears to rise up again on the south side. Very interesting topography, but there's more than enough land right here to do a building site or a campsite or whatnot. I'm not gonna do a ton of walking today because I don't quite have the time. Oh, I wish it wasn't so cloudy. <laughs> There's a little chunk of blue sky up there. Very usable property. I mean, if you came through and a uh, brush hog would mow out most of this stuff. This is just little one inch diameter stuff. They say a good brush hog um, should mow up to about the, the size of a pop can. So about a three inch uh, tree you can, you can mow with a good brush hog. So a lot of this could be cleaned up easily. Great area for recreational pursuits uh, with the rivers and creeks and whatnot. These properties at Chalk Bluff were logged within the last um, one to three years, roughly. Uh, some of them were logged harder than others. This one doesn't look too bad from what I can see. It'll of course look different in the winter time when all the leaves are off and uh, every property that's been logged uh, basically looks better every single year for about the first five or ten years. So you've got that to look forward to when you're kind of getting in on the ground floor on a property. I can see numerous spots for a good campsite or uh, building site out here. You'd be off grid out here. You're a couple couple miles at least from power. Um, but with that you get privacy. This road that we're on basically dead ends overlooking the Jack's Fork River. Um, so there's little to no traffic going through here, just super private. I mean, if, if you built even just a few hundred feet, a couple hundred feet back from the road, um, unless you wanted to see someone, you'd never see someone. Which is kind of how I like my building sites. I'm not antisocial, but I do love privacy. You can check us out at instantacres.com to see the price and the size and all that stuff. Um, all the other details, the maps. We'll probably have a drone video there as well with our drone. I, I haven't taken it yet, but we do plan on getting a drone video for this one so everyone can see it from the air. Email us at sales at instantacres.com. If this property is not available, we'll be happy to work with you on the, uh, a property that is. And we'll try to find you just what you're looking for. Instantacres.com That's us.